In this tutorial I want to demonstrate the possibilities of the analyzer of uh, PPG Infinite Pro and I start with a preset which is uh, useful for that the analyzer preset from the tutorials bank. Um, here on the analyzer page you see uh, six different modes and you select an audio file. Okay, I start with a, a simple one. I mean for the analyzer it's simple because it is straight harmonic. It's uh, from the electric piano. This is um, easy because all the overtones are harmonic and they are, uh, yeah, they are simply decaying. Okay, first I, maybe I should explain the display a little bit. You see on the left side here is the beginning of the sound and on the right is, is the end. I can switch on the trace, then you see how the sound plays. Um, of course, with um, every sound here in Infinite, I can control the speed of the sound uh, with the time envelope here. So I can make it faster. And if we look at the parameters, you see, okay, now with this switch here, I can uh, step through the harmonics of the sound. You see, now I have overtone number six, number seven, and so on. And uh, here you see the parameters which the analyzer has um, estimated for the sound and uh, the higher I go you see this that the higher harmonics decay faster and you see here in the decay value uh, that this is uh, reflected here okay see here the decay so, okay, this will do for this sound now. Um, yeah, now we have these uh, six different modes. In this case of this simple sound, it, it doesn't matter much which method you use. Maybe the attack is a little bit different sometimes. Yeah, this has a little bit more punch here than this. So you see each of these modes um, uh, has different uh, usabilities for different sounds, which you see shortly. So, okay, I, use, uh, I go to another sound. Let's take one uh, which, is, which has inharmonic overtones like this, so it's a bell. So in this case the analysis method is more important. Okay, try this. So this is totally different. But it seems more authentic So uh, for this uh, sound, maybe this method in harmonic two is, is most uh, best uh, suited. And if I have a look at the parameters, okay, I go back to zero. And you look at the frequency knob here. You see that it um, that the overtones are not 
not harmonic. For example, this one has a um, an offset from the from the normal frequency. Here you see it's to the other side, and so on. And this gives the the naturalness of this sound. I also could switch to uh, solo mode. Uh, now only one overtone at a time is uh, audible, the other ones are heavily muted. And now if you you hear that they, they are strongly inharmonic. Okay. I go back to the normal mode. Okay, let's try another one. I take a, a fast guitar. And again we have the slightly different results. No, this is not usable for this sound. And so on. Uh, take another one. Maybe this one is interesting. It's a percussive sound. The vibes. And again this in, in this case this mode works the best. Okay. Now let's go to some vocals. I have a female sound here. Now this mode, um, this mode is for sounds which have no pitch change. But here we have a little pitch uh, movement, so maybe it's better in this mode. Yeah, you see. Okay, in the end, the sound is not uh, muted. I can. I can mute the last frame by with uh, this function here. And uh, I adjust the time a little bit, it seems too fast. Yeah. Okay, uh, take another one with more pitch movement yeah 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 too fast again yeah yeah Okay. Yeah, you see the pitch movement here. In the end, it goes a bit down, and here's the vibrato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I want to use a percuss percussion sound from a tom tom. You see, in this mode, you have some artifacts. So I try another mode. Let's, say, let's try this. This sounds better. Or 
I can use this one, which uh, captures the, the phases of the overtones better. Yeah, that could be useful. Okay, now I want to show you the noise separation. Um, if you have loaded a sound, uh, you can play the original uh, from this buffer. Um, now, each time you press this step button, some sine waves are uh, separated from the original sounds and placed here in this. So now only one sign component has been removed and you here you have the, the noise part. Okay, I do some more. You see you get more and more noise and less hum uh, less sine waves and here you have more sine waves. This can can be very interesting with uh, complex sounds. Um, yeah, I take this again. Okay, I do some. Okay, now eight sign components are removed. Okay, you see the the idea behind this. Yeah. And if you press the make resource button then the noise result is placed here in the noiser. Here you have it now. Oh, maybe the noise envelope is not useful. Yeah, it's too percussive here. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay, so you have lots of possibilities with this system. Okay, that's all for now. Hope you liked it and can use it.